Welcome back. You're still watching Wake Up Nigeria and it's a beautiful Wonder Woman edition today as it's Wednesday and we're about to have a very interesting conversation with Mosumola Dosumu, who is a seasoned community firm, um, pharmacist. And of course, I think I said you're a videographer. I'm not a videographer. Yeah, no, but you have some experience there. I am one. Oh, you are one. And of course, uh, of course, she's also an expert when it comes to menopause. And today we're talking menopause in respect to the World Menopause Day, which happens every 18th of October 2022. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you very much. It is much. a pleasure having you here. Okay, so now earlier we're talking and you actually said the word menopause means body change generally. But then again, we know that when we hear menopause, we think about people 50 or women 50 and above. So please shed more light on menopause and what it is. Okay, menopause simply means mm -hmm. body change. Okay. And um, for most women, mm -hmm. the body starts changing from 42. 42, okay. And then between 42, 50, mm -hmm. they have their, um, their blood flow mm -hmm. dwindles. Okay. What I mean by dwindling is um, from five days to three days okay. to two days. Yeah. That period is called perimenopause. All right. It's perimenopause. Menopause. Okay. And when that happens 12 months without their period, that is when you say, I am in menopause state. Okay. So there's a thin line between menopause and perimenopause. perimenopause. So when your body system starts to change, okay. you observe so many changes. Every organ of the system is being affected. Being affected. Okay. And um, you have um, over 40 signs and symptoms. 40 signs and symptoms. Okay. But you see, it takes a very sensitive woman to know when her body system is changing. It's changing. But you see, in our environment, we don't get to talk about menopause. We don't, actually. And um, you see people going from one hospital to another hospital, mm -hmm. one hospital, and most of the time they tell them they have malaria or they have typhoid. Mm. Mm. And if that signs and symptoms, those signs and symptoms are not um, immediately attended to, you have complications. Okay, okay. This menopause actually deals with the estrogen level going down. Oh. And once the estrogen level goes down to a certain level or even it gets depleted, those functions on the body that the estrogen level are supposed to be effective for, they are not. And yeah. that's when you start having complications. Okay, so now we'll definitely talk about the 40 signs and symptoms and then we'll talk um, about what we can do, right, or to attend to it. But before then, now, we spoke about um, how menopause doesn't affect only women. Yes. Okay. You know, I, I said earlier on that menopause simply means, means body change. Yes. Men also have their body I mean, system changing. I mean, there's men inside the menopause, so Yes, we're all human. Uh, yes. Every man on us has his or body system changing. Okay. So men also go through menopause. The only difference is this. Women, the hormones responsible for menopause in women is called estrogen. Estrogen, yes. The hormone responsible for men is called testosterone. testosterone. Yes. Okay. And we have basically the same signs and symptoms okay and then the, another difference is this for women you have um the eggs the estrogen the hormone gets depleted immediately yes at 51 no more estrogen no more, estrogen. No, no more production okay. you are no more productive all right but for men mm -hmm. At the age of 30, 30, okay, you have one percent of your testosterone mm -hmm. reducing over time. Over time, just one percent. Just one percent okay. over time, mm -hmm. and that's why my 70-year-old, my 80 or 90-year-old father yes. can impregnate a 12-year, a 50, let's say a 21-year-old woman. Yes, but for a 50. Five-year-old woman, woman to be pregnant mm -hmm. is a miracle. Okay, it's a miracle. Okay, that explains a lot. So now let's move quickly to... So so I was saying that over time for men, it's just that 1% that depletes. 1% every year. Every year. Okay, understandable. Okay, so now let's talk quickly about the 40 sy symptoms you mentioned earlier. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it affects um, the temperature, that's the hypothalamus on the system. Okay. You have hot flashes. Okay. 
when it affects the tongue, mm -hmm. you have dry and burning sensations in your mouth. Oh, okay. It affects the bones. Mm -hmm. That gives rise to osteoporosis. Mm. The density of the bones of the is bone depleted. Yes, it's then it affects the skin. Okay. It affects the eyes, mm. the air. It affects everything. It affects everything. <laughs> it affects sex. Okay. Your ability, your libido gets reduced. Okay. It affects every organ of the, of the body. As a woman. As a woman, even as men. Even as men. But okay. you see, the most important sign that they get to see mm -hmm. or feel is when their libido goes down. That's for the men. That's for the men. Okay. When they have hot flushes, mm -hmm. when they get tired, mm -hmm. or their bones are painful. Yes. They do not give enough cognizance to that. To that, true. All they say is, oh, I'm working too hard. Yes. No, they don't believe it's menopause yeah, or andropause. True. True. But when they are not <laughs> able to produce, <laughs> yes. or they are not active at the other room, yeah. <laughs> they, start to... they start to wonder, what's yes. wrong with me? Yes. How can I improve my libido? Oh, okay. But most of them do not mm. associate it to aging. All right. So now, you spoke earlier about how we can actually address the symptoms early on to avoid complications. So now, please talk a little bit um, on that. OK. Um, maybe I should you, you give myself as an example. OK. OK, my body system started changing when I was 42. OK. And the first sign I noticed was depression. And um, I used to beat my children a lot. I used to take it out on them. Yeah. Then my nine-year-old son one day looked at me and said, Mom, you need help. Oh, wow. And I thought to myself, I need help. Mm -hmm. So for the first time, I'm a pharmacist, but you see, it never occurred to me that I could go through depression. So for the first time, I brought up my laptop and I looked at the signs and symptoms of depression. And out of 15, I was going through 13. Wow. Okay. I lost my mind for two years. But you see, most of us don't go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I kept reading and trying to find out what exactly could be wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And um, two years after, mm -hmm. I noticed that something like a ball was moving in my stomach. Oh, wow. Okay. That was my womb changing. Okay. And I thought to myself, maybe I have stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. And I kept reading and reading, and reading, reading, and, reading, and, reading. and reading and reading. <laughs> and I think... Four years after, my skin started changing. Okay. And that made me to try to discover more. Yeah. And lo and behold, this. I read and I discovered I was going through a menopause. Okay. And that is actually what led me to what I'm doing now. Right now. But you see, most of us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are not very sensitive enough. Mm -hmm. But you see, all the while I was reading, yeah. I realized that menopause is not a form of sickness no. or disease. Mm -hmm. So I was able to put myself together. Okay. I changed my lifestyle. Okay. I changed my eating habit. Okay. So all that can actually affect. So probably yes, highlights on it that. It helps more. you to live and be able to cope oh, more. Mm -hmm. But you see, when you lack knowledge, mm -hmm. and that is what you start living in fear, sure. then you start going from one hospital to another. another true. And that gets complicated. Mm -hmm. And that's what is very, very destructive. Okay. And that is one of the reasons why I started the only and the first menopause group oh. community in Nigeria. Right now it's virtual. We have over 500 people oh, nice. on that platform all over Nigeria. Oh, nice. And what do we do? We educate people. Educate people we do seminars. Okay. Once you know what is wrong with you, you're yes. able to cope better. You're able to cope better with it. Amazing. So this community now, do we have men or women in it? Yes. Okay, men and women. Amazing. Uh, maybe we'll actually, um, I mean, follow you on social media and see what the community um, is like. I'll probably join so we have yes. more information about this. Thank you so much. This conversation has been really, really insightful. Thank I mean, we're much. having birthdays today and um, we're getting older, so we need to know this thing. So we start checking ourselves. If you get it, you get it. Thank you so much. So much more to come. Make sure you keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. <laughs>